What's up, Indian Nation? It's your boy, David, and welcome back to the IBA week number eight. We are now four and three. We're positive. Actually, let's check the updated sheet. I want to see if the sheet's updated. I want to see if the sheet's updated. I want to see if the sheet's updated. I want to see if the sheet's updated with standings because it hasn't been updated in a while with standings. It's like a whole bunch of battles missing or some nonsense. Yeah, there still is. Uh, as of right now, though, we are number five. And if we win this game, we can be higher than that. <laughs> Yo, that's exciting. We've, we've climbed the ladder. We have climbed the ladder. We were, so, we were, I always thought we were done, dude. I thought we were dead. But we said, no. No, we don't die here. Not today. Not any day. But here we are at IBA. Um, I'm very excited. If you guys see why, I just see suitcase. I'm going to Puerto Rico with Crystal. I'm very excited for that. Um, let's, I mean, we gotta slap the no top of PD this week. I know, crazy, right? But he is, he's really, really mo mods. I don't want to run with Tapu, uh, Tapu Fini there. So it's okay. Um, we are bringing, however, Amoongus, Gal, Mega Arrow, Metagross, Armaldo, and Haxorus. Haxorus is scarfed because KB is a thing and we want to kill KB. Hey, okay? Okay, cool. Um, I did bring a z lack of Z moves. No Z moves this week. Um, I will say though, this Metagross can also deal with KB. The problem is, I think I get swept by like a Raikou, but we're not gonna talk about it. I think Metagross has Earthquake. No, we don't get swept by Raikou. He was a Bulu though, which is also scary. So another reason why Metagross is here. Stops Bulu in his tracks and I can just Meteor Mash. But he has good answers to it. We can see what we do. But, oh, he ended it? What happened? Um. No problem. Says he's forgotten item. I think I'll live. I will live. I will live. I will live. I will live. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about standings a little bit while we're sitting here. We have a little bit of time. I wanted to do that before. Um, based off of how this is going to... Looks like it's going to turn out. It potentially looks like I could be like a top three, depending on how this game turns out, actually. I could be like a top top three in the league, which is crazy to think about. This is your last place. Um, Portland Popplio is our last. Um, they're one and six right now. Uh, don't know their week eight results, week seven results. I think we, are we, are we, no, we're week is it? Is there, there is week eight. I don't know what, I don't know what his week seven was all about. But there is, oh, he played Shadow and Shadow won. It's just not updated. I can math. That's seven games, dude. One in six is seven games. Uh, yeah. So we're going up against him now. Uh, he lost. He's lost his last three games fairly close, like one one, like one o, one o, o two. Like he's just they're close. Um, KB only has three kills on the season, so I feel like I have a decent matchup here. He's none of his mons are really positive except for KB and Mian Xiao. Um, I'm kind of scared of Sun. Mega Houndoom Torkoal kind of fists me, but that's the reason why um, Armaldo's here. Armaldo actually could take a in the Sun Fire Blast from a Mega Houndoom. That's good. Uh, Metagross is here to literally handle KB. Um, it help with Bulu. It can help with Raikou. Um, basically, I don't want him to get up his terrain very often. I should have brought Feeny just for the terrain, but Armaldo I felt like was more valuable, and so was Amoongus. Uh, Sludge Bomb is really helpful against his team, aside from Klefki. Really hoping he doesn't bring Klefki, because if he doesn't bring Klefki, that means he doesn't have Defog unless he slaps it on KB. Or Torkoal has spin, but I'm not scared of Torkoal, you know? I feel like that thing's not a threat. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here. No random Asian person. I do not want to trade. <laughs> um, so we're kind of just waiting here. Very nervous about how this game wants to turn out, though, because... I mean, like, I'm not in a bad position. Yo, shout out to Shadow. He climbed, too. Me and Shadow were, like, in the dust. And then he, I just we both, like, have shot up the leaderboards recently. We're both 4-3. and three. Yeah, but, like, the best team is 5-0. and oh. um, There's a 5-2 and two team. That's really all that's above us. Four and four, uh, and four and three, Steven. So that's really it. That's really it. Um, we're doing pretty good. Proud of us. Let's let's keep this win streak up. I hope that we can win this game today. Um, if I get rock, if I get rocks, and if I get rocks and webs up, even if I just get webs up, things die. Um, KB is dead to a meteor mash, even if he's like max HP. Um, after rocks, so that's really good. I don't expect him to be max HP, so um, just because like. It doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh, it is actually freezing in my room. It is like 100 degrees outside, but it's freezing in my room. Um, I don't expect the KB to be... 
like barrier or anything. I don't expect him. To, I think I expect him to have like max attack, some speed investment. I I calped it so he whatever with the sp some of the speed investment, uh, and it was a instant uh, one hit KO after rocks because he had to outspeed. I have a base 80 something on my team. I think it was Tapu Fini. I think you can look at that right here, can't we? No. By the way, Tapu Fini's my kill leader. Tapu Fini's 9 and 3. Amoongus is 4 and 2, by the way. Everything else is negative. Oh, Size Patel is 1 and 4 and 3. Look at Size Patel. <laughs> Celesteel has 1 kill. <laughs> That's insane. Metagross is 2-1, okay. Pangoro, 1-1 one one in the one game he came to. Two games he came to. Look at him go. Armaldo came to one game. Didn't do a thing. It absorbed a hit and walked away. But we're on a nice little tear. We've won our 4-4. Four, 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 we won 4-0-4 and 3-0. So we have, we have we've shown off in the last few games, which is really nice. Uh, maybe I can send it. Uh, he's back on. We're ready to get this started. Um, but let's see how this game shapes out. I'm kind of, kind of intrigued by how this uh, is gonna turn out. I don't remember battling Drew, but apparently, we... apparently we've battled. Zom Zombie and I battled before, and I do not recall battling him. But it's okay. It's Drew, he got the Kabo'o armor on. I'm ready. Uh, I want to lead Galvantula. I kind of am curious just to see what his team is looking like, though. Um. <laughs> and we rambled for like six and a half minutes. So if you guys enjoyed the rambling, hit that like button. Let's subscribe if you're new. Let's get this. Let's get these league games going. Um, a little nervous because his team is. It gets nothing short of scary. Like his team is terrifying. That's the only thing. Is his team is still scary. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm hitting my mic. Okay, all my items are good. My friend Hal has been my good luck music, so we're rocking it. We also have new headphones. We're wireless. That's nice. Okay. See what you're rocking with, dog. See what he's rocking with. He brought the Klefki. Dang it. I didn't want the Klefki. That's like the only one I didn't want him to bring. Torkoal. No sun, though. No Mega Houndoom. That's good. He brought all the, like, threats that I expected him to bring, but didn't want him to bring, if that makes sense. Like, me and Shell's looking that, like, had a chance of coming, but I really didn't want to come. I think he, uh, I'm pretty sure he overprepped for Tapu Fini. 100% can't confirm. Because I've been using Tapu Fini so well this last few weeks. Me and Xiao. Okay. Um, I look, he want to leave Galv. He doesn't have a ground type, so I could just, um, honestly, I could click Thunder if I want to. I want to get webs up, but Clef Key's right there. And I also could Thunder Wave anything but the, uh, what's it called? Karen Black. Then again, make arrows good lead, get rocks up. What's up? Uh, I feel like Mian Xiao leads here, right? If that's the case, Amoongus is probably my best lead. I want to lead Charge Bolt. I think that's a great lead. I should have brought Volt Switch instead of Thunder. So if I'm in this scenario where he doesn't have a ground type, but again, I could just spam Thunder if I want to, which is nice. Um, Slow King doesn't really switch in. I mean. Like, Galv gets switched in on by, like, Kieran Black. That's about it. Like, we don't want that, but... I saw it. Thank you. Like, Kieran Black gets can switch in for this thing on for free. Um, Bug Buzz does, like, 30 to 45, though. And I could T-Wave it if he's not Scarfed. And I'm Sash, so whatever wants to come in first is okay with my book, I guess. Ugh. We, we kind of need this win to stay in this nice little groove we had. So I would like to win this game. Okay, there's Galvantula. Look at my baby. There you go. Shine. Cat. That's me and Shout. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm not going to lie to you. I just want to click Thunder. What's his switching? If this thing clicks, move on me to kill me, right? When he's not assault vested? How much am I doing to this thing? Ha. He's not hurting me with high jump kick. I'm just gonna click thunder. No issues here. 
fakes me out, he fakes me out, you know? Okay. I see no reason not to just click Thunder. This could be an easy, easy time if I just do this. I can deal with Scarf KB. I know I can deal with Scarf KB. Yeah, he's just gonna use it. Makes sense. I think this thing's Scarf. Out of everything, I think this thing's Scarf. Or Assault Vested. How fast is Mianxia? 105? Like, to outspeed my Mega Aerodactyl. Because it, it hurts Mega Aerodactyl a lot. Doesn't kill me. Oh, this is no attack. Why would you put no attack me in shell? Like logically speaking. Actually, how much am I doing to this thing? Curiosity. I missed. Depending on spread, that was doing good damage. That's upsetting. Um, Loki, I kind of just want to go into Aerodactyl. Fire off a Stone Edge. Stone Edge or Earthquake. Or get a Brock, actually. That was a U-turn. I was like, what hit, what hit me? I'm just gonna go into Aerodactyl now. That's frustrating, though. Yeah, here come the Rock. That sucks. That was good damage, too. Um, a Stone Edge does a bunch of damage. What's his Stone Edge switching? Right? Raikou, Slow King. I'm gonna click... I'm gonna click Rocks here. I'm just gonna get Rocks up. Be very basic here. I definitely should put 144 in HP, and I failed to do so. Good job, me. Um, like, the only thing I could think of here is him burning. That would suck. But chances he runs Will O Wisp for Mega Aerodactyl is like crazy, dude. It won't hinder me, but it would suck a lot. It, it will hinder Air Mega Aero. It's not gonna nerf him though completely, if that makes sense. By the way, if that Thunder landed, I'd probably kill this thing. Draws. Juliet. I'm assuming that's Klefki. Slow key. Okay. I'm assuming that thing's bulked on it. Uh, depending on how bulky this thing is, I think he's going to be defensive out the wall. I do a little under half of that. Um, if he scalds me here. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, Amoongus. Amoongus is my switch in. Um, the only different, the only problem with Amoongus being my switch in is, is he has like Psychic. It's literally like the only thing I'm concerned about here. But in the long run, I can be okay with that. Uh, depending on his spread, we have to see what his spread is. So this thing's regenerator. The end child's regenerator. I gotta get rid of rocks. I gotta get uh like Raikou in against my thing. I guess Mian would be okay. I just gotta get rocks away. Even what's his face? Slow Torkoal. Ice Beam. Did that fairly well. Okay. Uh, I should have been paying more attention to damage. It was like 196 to 128. Hit 32%. Let's see, this is how can Ice Beam. 
Eh, he has some, some spectacular investment, I think. Um, I'm not gonna click... I'm going to click Spore, actually. I think no matter what I do here, I click Spore. That's a smarter play. It, 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 let's say he psychics me, right? I'm at 141 HP. He'd have to be pretty high on the Spatak meter to kill me. From here. He'd have to be like max special attack modest to kill me. And this isn't a Z. Fire Blast. Like, that's not gonna do more than a Psychic would, so this is fine. Oh, that almost killed me. Was that a crit? It burned me! Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? Oh, it's in the sun! That makes more sense. Okay, that that that, that damage makes sense now. Can we talk about that Fire Blast for a second, though? Okay, if I Giga Drain this thing, I'm just gonna Giga Drain. I wanna see how much damage I'm gonna do. Pretty much. I shouldn't just throw away a Moongus like this. I could literally switch out and switch back in. Watch him wake up. Let's leave this thing asleep. He with Jaws. Keychain? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, I'll grab some damage off of this thing. A tad bit. Recover enough to live a burn. Let's get it. Let's left these clutch keys. All right. I'm expecting like something here. I'm about to switch into um air uh a moon uh what's its face? Amaldo right now. Amaldo's play. We get a rapid spin off and start and let's earthquake this thing. Willow is me. Thunder wave me. Do what you must. But he doesn't have a good EQ switching. He doesn't have anything off the ground. So like there's nothing nothing unless he has. Uh, what's it called on this thing? I'm not con I'm not really concerned. Let's get out. Let's get out of Moongus. You're burned. That sucks, dude. I'll live, but it sucks. Okay, I gotta remember. Slow King is sleeping. Sleep. Yeah, here come the spikes. Like, straight up, I'm just gonna rapid spin either way. I don't see why I don't. Um, unless I should... No, I should rapid spin. Like, spikes suck, but... I need to get rid of these things. I need to get rid of these things. Like a knockoff or earthquake would be lovely. A rapid spin everything away. Rapid spin the rocks. Rapid spin the, the... Rapid spin it all away. Just get it all out of here. Um, Amoongus is low. Aerodactyl's not really hurt. I didn't think it took damage. Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff though. It's good. There's play rough. We can take that. I'm okay with that. Spikes. And play rough. Uh, I'm just gonna click the EQ button. I don't know what his defensive stuff is, but I see. Oh, you know what? I can kind of see. Let's see. Let's see. How much of that? I think it changed. Mm. Well, he did a little more than that. I think he's a little more bulky than this, but I'm gonna EQ. I'm gonna EQ. I'm gonna EQ. He's three things weak to Earthquake. Big brain the crap out of me, dog. No, no, no shame out of that. Nice play. Magnet Rise, Spikes. I mean, I could stay in against this thing. I see no real issue in it. I'm gonna knock off its lefties though, so he can't recover any more HP. Let's knock it off. Uh, Stone Edge does about 25, like a, a, a four co. It's a four co. Um, if I get rid of these, yeah, he's just gonna rocks. I'm gonna knock off. There's no reason for me not to. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of your leftovers. You can't recover now. And I could stone edge you all I want, so it's fine. I kind of want to click stone edge here. He doesn't have a good stone edge switching either. Really? What's your stone edge switching? Is he going to play rough? If he gets an attack drop, it sucks, but it is what it is, you know? I feel like he goes for spikes this turn, right? Right? How do I beat Clef? How to beat clefkey.net. Am I going to Metagross? Meteor Mash? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Metagross and I'm gonna click Meteor Mash. Okay, he goes into Torkoal, right? My rocks are on the field. So Torkoal comes in. 
Oh, it takes half. Holy crap. Play rough me? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no item now. I'm gonna write no item on this thing, so I didn't forget I knocked off. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click, uh, Meteor Mash, because no matter what... Again, he doesn't have the greatest switch into this thing. He doesn't have a good switch into this thing. If he wants to Magnet Rise to avoid E getting Earthquake, so be it. But I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click, yeah, switch out. Go to a Torkoal. Mega Shuckle, take that 25%. It's not going to do enough. If I get an attack boost here, then I can potentially kill. That's all I'm going to say. I just really need the attack buff. No attack boost. Ah. In the sun? Dog, that actually seemed like it did more than like... I'm going to go for it. I'm going to YOLO it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Chuckleberry, nice play. That would have killed 100% of the time. Big plays. That was a crit. Goes for rapid spin. I'm a, I'm a, I'm content with that. Uh, I think a meteor mash kills, so that's what I'm gonna click. Uh, if he wants to save this thing for drought later. He doesn't have a really good switch into Meteor Mash, in my opinion, unless Slow King's its name. Slow King actually walls his Pokemon, by the way. If unless I'm, like, boosted in attack, like, it really does wall me. He withdraws, saves it. Comes Here comes the Slow King. Uh, I really need a, I need a, I need a boost here. I missed. Okay. Uh, in the sun. In the sun, Fire Blast does a lot. Uh, I kind of want to pray that this thing doesn't wake up and just whittle it down, not going to lie. Did I just EQ? If I would eq there, by the way, guys, that would have done so much damage. I'm going to EQ. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope it doesn't wake up. That's my hope right now. So Torkoal had Stealth Rock Rapid Spin. So he has no more rocks, which... Is okay because Kirishima still is alive. Um, there's no nothing on my side of the field either. I would like to get spite. Uh, what's it called up? Webs up. This thing, I know for a fact, can take this thing on. It can live anything in the sun, in my opinion. How much is it gonna do? I need to count this. This is from full. That is a quarter. Okay, he's bulky. He is bulking his uh defenses. Still sleeping. And I'm gonna reveal leftovers, right? No lefties. No lefties. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a big play here. I think I'm going to make a big play here. He's going to Fire Blast. Not only does he have to land said Fire Blast in the sun, he has to land the Fire Blast. Earthquake is supposed to do... Okay, how much is the Earthquake doing if he's max defense gold like I think he is? This damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Like a mineral. Okay, so you have no attack, right? No speed here. This is your set, right? Say you have an Assault Vest. If I go into Charge Bolt here, Thunder does a little over half. So Fire Blast eviscerates me. Okay, what up here? I'm gonna go 40 to 47. This is a rough position. I didn't even knock the Scald me. I'm gonna go into. I wanna just EQ again, but I'm gonna go into Kirishima and I'm gonna Stone Edge. He doesn't have a good Stone Edge switching, really. This is a kind of a weird play. But I'm expecting the Fire Blast. What if he Scalds? I'm gonna click Stone Edge here. Should do a little over, a little like, uh, closer to half. Like 40 to 47%. And after that, that's Tuco. Again, he doesn't have a good switch in really to this Pokemon. Good damage. All right, cool. Uh, we kind of got lucky with the sleep turns. Not gonna lie, that sucks. Um, personally, I would like to click Stone Edge again, but I think he preserves this thing because of Regen, and I'm just gonna click EQ here. I think he goes into like Clef Key here. If he does, Clef Key might die. Mega Shuffle. Okay, Mega Shuffle dies. So. 
Aerodactyl. So he's getting up one last thing. An Aerodactyl kills Torkoal with Earth. Wait. Okay. Torkoal's dead. No rocks on my side of field. Beautiful thing. Okay. And my boy Arrow has full HP still. It's good. I could have went for rocks there, and I definitely could have outsped and clicked Earthquake again. Which is probably the better play. Uh, I'm really scared as what he brings in. Like, Raikou's a good switch, and Mien Xiao's a good play here, I think. I think either one, I go Amoongus. Because I think Amoongus can stop up any hit from those things, switch out, and get regen on whatever wants to come in. Like, Slow King. Slow King's still sleeping. By the way, that's mega uber important. He just, like, kind of resets his turns there. That kind of sucks. It sucks that it's sleep for so long, but... Are able to freely do things. I could have gotten up rocks. Could have tried to get up rocks. Uh, I knew he was going to switch. Torkoal dies. So this will last like five turns of drought. Four. That was one turn by setting it up. And four turns of drought left. Okay. Cat? Hold on. Me and Xiao. I want to find out if this thing is what's called or not. Scarf. If he attacks me with a high jump kick and he is adamant, which he I don't think he can be adamant because of the something with speed. Oh he can I guess. He can be adamant. What if I was jolly max speed though? Could he be adamant? Could he risk it? Could he risk being adamant? He might not have been able to risk being adamant. Not calculating it. He can. He can be adamant. Okay. So. He's adamant, right? My jump kick at max attack does not kill me from full. A wing attack will kill him from full. I'm gonna go for it. Here it goes. We can take this. Excuse me? Adamant? Scarf. Mian Xiao versus Aerodactyl, level 50, high jump kick, Adamant Scarf. He cannot be faster than me unless he's Jolly. He can't be faster than me. He's Choice Scarfed. Why did that kill? High jump kick does 71 to 70, 84%. What am I missing here? I'm sorry, Adamant's at 77 to 91. I'm missing something. I want to know his set afterwards, but that sucks. Arrow. Well, that sucks. Well, he's locked in the high jumping. Aerodactyl dies to Mian Xiao high jump kick. Can he die? Does Amoongus die? That's so dumb. I'm missing something. I high jump should not have killed it. It's not me and Boo. It's me and Xiao, right? I'm at one over three. I'm so upset right now. I shouldn't risk that. I die to a high jump. I ran out of time. Fun fact. That is not the Pokemon I wanted to go into because of my HP stat. I died to a high jump kick. I should have went into Me Metagross. I think I just sacked this thing. I'm going to go for Sticky Webs. He might think like I'm Scarfed or something. That's why I went out to it. Because Torkoal was his rocks. There's no way that Tor he thinks this and just clicks high jump kick. Because no universe can he have been faster than Meta. Hey, a he goes for it, lands it, it kills me. This is so dumb. That shouldn't have killed me. That 
That's so dumb. That should not have killed me. I pouched so that doesn't kill. He can't be banded. I would have outsped. Is my speed wrong on Mega Aerodactyl? That's the only thing I want to know at this point. Hold on, I want to see something. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I clicked the Mega button, and I go to the right speed. I don't know. I click. I, I want to click Zen Headbutt here. He's locked in the high jump kick, right? He definitely kills me if he doesn't. Was I not full HP? Literally the only thing I can think of. I'll have to go back. I swear I was full HP. I didn't take any damage from anything last I checked. Is that Hepa kills this thing? So does a Meteor Mash? I'm gonna go for Meteor Mash here. Cause I can Bullet Punch afterwards. I'm just gonna Meteor Mash. That's still incredibly frustrating by the way guys. It has to be Scarf to outspeed me. There's like nothing on this planet that I could think of that would have killed me there. We swallow this hit. That did way too much damage. That did way more damage than it said my calc said it did. Get this thing off my screen. I'm so incredibly infuriated right now. That should not have killed. Why did that kill? I'm gonna DM him after. I wanna know his Mian Shell set. Cause Adamant Scarf. Does it have an ability that I just don't know about? It has Reckless. Does it kill with Reckless? Is he Reckless? It does way more with Reckless. That explains everything. I'm such an idiot. Also, still had a chance to live it, but it was like a little... Like, never mind. I didn't expect to run Reckless. That's, I guess I guess I didn't know that thing got Reckless. Forgot it. Raikage. Fun fact of the day, I actually think I can live any hit this thing wants to throw my way. How much do you, you guys want to bet I can live a hit from this thing? 41? Probably not. Never mind. Yeah, I'm dead. How do I win this game? What's left? Mancha's dead, Torkoal's dead. I need Galvantula, that sucks. I need... Well, I can Outrage after Klefki's on. I need EQ. So, okay. Do I need Metagirl? I think Metagross beats Klefki one-on-one. -on -one. Still. Because at least, like, I can bullet punch at one point. Yeah. I'm going to save this thing. I'm going to... Honestly, Amoongus is a useless Pokemon at this point. Slow King is not worth it. Amoongus is a useless Pokemon at this point. And Thunderbolt... Took me from 103 to 70 with 15%. He's not Scarf, I don't think. Or Spex, I don't think. Um, I just want to click Sludge Bomb. Not gonna lie, I know it can break his sled, uh, his, uh, what's it called? But I also want to just click Giga Dream. Which that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna click Giga Dream here. This doesn't have a chance to break sub. I literally calc for this stupidity. It didn't break. Upsetting. He's lefty. Okay, I know. I know Sludge Bomb can break it. If he's calm mind, I don't lose. But it, it's, it sucks. Haxorus low key wins me this game. Haxorus like no no doubt my mind wins me this game right now. Here comes the Calm Mind. Okay, we prep for this. Listen, like a plus two, unless he has extra sensory or HP ice, he doesn't kill me here. 
I really don't even think he kills me with HP ice. Fun fact of the day. Let's break this sub real quick. Sub's gone. I can always just... I can keep sludge bombing. Oh, he's gonna go for it again, though. That's the problem. To be fair, I can let him set up. Um, if he's plus one, it's a little scary. I'm gonna keep going for sub. Um, I don't think I can break subs now. Yeah. Genuinely should be okay, though. Because I two hit KO his sub. He's just gonna keep calm mining, though. Um, I kind of have to keep playing this game until his sub just stays dead. Because basically what I have to do is... Oh, he's actually sentry. Okay. Which kills me. I'm going to lose this thing now. Um, I prepped for that and I just didn't... I, I threw there. Um, can Anima take a plus two hit, actually? He didn't call mine there, right? He clicked extra sensory, so he's only plus one. I know I could take a hit from this thing and EQ the other way. And he can't set up on me. Um, no matter what, I think I could take this hit. Extra. Because I think... How I have to win this game is through... The combination of Tetsu Tetsu and Stain. I am not even saying like that to be dumb. Advice to Raikou extra sensory. I knew he prepped for that, so that's fine. I actually think I go to Anima. I click Earthquake, sack this thing. I go into Haxorus, click Earthquake because he has nothing off the ground and he can't switch into it. Unless like something has an air balloon, which I don't even know why, but it, maybe. But at plus one, I can know I can live this. He goes for another calm mind here, he goes for another calm mind here essentially. But I can live this hit. Okay, so also Armaldo dies to Raikou Thunderbolt. He can't, he cannot set up subs now. And Haxorus can come in and kill this thing. Haxorus come in and Oko's this thing with an EQ from this range. He just can't be full HP, I guess. He has to kill me. And he can't really switch in. So Kieran Black. Problem is he has to keep if Clef Key's still around, I lose the game. Can Dragon Claw kill Axe or uh Raikou? Can Dragon Claw kill Raikou? Literally my only chance here. Uh, not from this range. I have to do. I can't. Okay, no. Actually, I could outrage, but then I risk everything. And I have to go into you. I have to click EQ. If you go into Clef Key, I just click EQ again. Because I think I can live um, with ha uh, Kieran Black. Because he goes into Kieran Black after this, right? I just lose anyway. But do I? I have the slightest chance. I have to EQ this thing. So, Haxorus, Haxorus kills Raikou. Sorry, what kind of world do we live in where that didn't kill him? I need a world where that doesn't kill. I need a world where that doesn't kill. What? And he crits me back. Like, just to, just for icing on the cake. Like, I'm not living anything after that doesn't kill, though. Why did that kill?
That's the speed you have to invest in. I'm so tilted right now. Okay, so I click EQ, right? That's 37%. I lose. Game's over, boys. Unless he's Scarf. I'm so tilted right now. Because I could have switched at the very least. I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset right now. This this game was like 100% in my bag. I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I didn't prep for Reckless. But at the same time, it's like... I didn't mean to go into Galvantula. I would have went into Metagross. He crit me on the extra sensory. Which it gives me more right to switch into Metagross there, you know? I have to rely him being locked into a move right now. Don't I? And just like Meteor Mash? No, he's not. Okay. Well, GG. That's trash, by the way, guys. That's so frustrating. That should have killed. Haxor should not have lost any HP there. Why didn't that kill? Raikou set? Defense investment? Anyway, GG, guys. I lost to the worst team in the league. I'm super tilted at myself because I just played like trash. I'm too busy focused on everything else, dude. I'm so mad at myself right now. This is such a bad game to lose. I needed this win. Like, literally, I prepped very well. I prepped very well for this game. And I'm very upset because we prepped for the Raikou. I threw against the Raikou. We prepped for the Mian Xiao. I threw against the Mian Xiao. Didn't prep for fucking Reckless. Dumb Davion just being stupid. KB shouldn't have even been able to just Oko me like that because I wouldn't I shouldn't have taken any damage. And then last but not least, freaking Metagross shouldn't have even had to come in there. He has 140 on his Raikou? 140 HP on his Raikou? Why? For what? You were outsped by everything. Still a really bad roll. Oh, that's on, on for it. And for it, GG. No reason for me to stay in on the HJK. I'm just tilted now. I'm just upset, dude. Uh, good, uh, good GG. He found the high jump kick thing. It, it's, it is what it is. It's my fault at the end of the day. It just sucks because it's like my calc doesn't show that stuff. I should have prepped better for it, I guess. Don't know how I could have prepped better for it. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching.